Okay, what's going on everybody? Welcome, we're here for another video here on CM42 TV and this is Top 5 Parents That Destroyed Their Kids Electronics I said that funnily because DESTROYED is in capital letters so you have to say it loud and aggressively apparently Top 5 Parents That Destroyed Their Kids Electronics from the Lenny Face <laughs> YouTube channel, I don't know why that was funny and it's from middle of last year this video and I'm just going to react See what this is all about. You see these videos on social media all the time of someone doing something annoying with some social media or a video game or something and the parents tend to freak out. So this is parents destroyed and this is the top five. Quite like that. I love a list. So this will be interesting. Here we go. Okay, mum throws daughter's phone in pool. Can I actually look put on? I hate you! Mum destroys son's laptop while man tries making tutorial video. The mind bender trick. This is cool. It just requires just a little bit of preparation. There you are. Okay. I've been asking you to do the dishes for two hours. Five minutes. No, not five minutes. No, you've had two minutes. Five minutes. No, five minutes. No, that's enough. Five minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was destroyed as soon as I hit the ground. That was a belter. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll show you how to do that trick some other day. <laughs> well, that's the end of that video. Hey everybody. Mum uh, makes video of destroying son's nice Xbox day, because son won't do chores. Know, I got some other issues I'm going to address today. My son Logan, who is 13, going on 14, has decided in the last couple months that he doesn't want to do his chores. Um, he hasn't been cleaning his room like he's been told, taking out the trash, doing the dishes, you know, putting it in, in, in his part. So what I have here in my hands is his modded Xbox. And I've decided um, it's going to go bye bye today. I'm going to smash this Xbox and maybe teach him a little lesson. If he doesn't start doing his chores, Logan, I'm talking to you. Your computer's going to be next. Poor boy's probably at school when she sent this video. Oh my god. That was great. I hope she dad breaks son's phone for burning up data. I hope that she bought him another Xbox and was just doing it for a bit of fun because that was a bit harsh. Poor boy. Hey dude. Uh, what game are you playing? Zombies. Well, Zombies. What? Man, what? Oh, like 10 minutes. What are you doing? Like this? PS3 again? Yes. Look at this guy. I didn't do it. Yeah, 85% of all the data was just you. Give me the phone. No. Yes, give me the phone. No. I told you you burned Why does this look like a skit? And we barely went over. This time we're over. We got 10 days left to go. Give me the phone. Looks like James Ellsworth. No. I did not burn it. Yeah, you did. I, I did. Give me the phone. Oh, God. I didn't burn it off. Yeah, you did. <laughs> We're gonna stay with the action here. No, you're not getting it. I already told you. You burn it up, you're done. But surely they can't just destroy this stuff and not no, repair it, you know what I mean? There. Well then. I 
I don't know if I was just very lucky in my parents. You're done. Never did this to me. Next time, this is going through that. Understand? I, uh... Do ya? Yes! Do ya? I don't know whether... Oh, God. I don't know whether I was just very lucky or these people are all absolute nutcases. Like, they must all be absolute mental to do this sort of stuff. Not just because it's their kids, but just because of the amount of money. Um, and just because it's a bit extreme. Do you know what I mean? I understand confiscating it, but not, like, destroying it. My God. Number one, Dad destroys son's Xbox for not playing football. Wait, what are you doing? Things like this looks like sh like a skit they're doing. I'm tired of this Xbox is crap. He like is he taking his Xbox? He's gonna play football. I want Xbox. I want the Xbox. Want the Xbox? Yes, you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my good lord. That can't be real. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh my god, there! Oh my god. Now let's play football! <laughs> Must think what's going through that wee guy's head. Oh god. You know how much, like, consoles and things like that mean to young people these days? I mean, I would have been devastated when I was 10 or whatever if you took my PS2 that. or whatever, you know what I mean? Holy crap. Oh That'd God. be me sitting there vlogging the whole thing. There we go. Nice. Okay, that was a bit... Listen, I just feel bad for the kids. Obviously, I'm not in the position of, you know, I don't understand what's going on in the household. But, I mean, what is the need? You just look a bit daft going out in the street and destroying your son's Xbox. And also, another thing about gaming... Um, I know people say that kids spend too much time on their game consoles, but think about how that shapes people. Because it's, you know, obviously it's detrimental to their social skills and that sort of thing, it can be. But it's also good for their problem solving, it's also good for their intelligence in terms of breaking down computer games, it's also good for socialising when they're talking to people on headphones. Um, there's, there is some positives for gaming, but of course it's surrounded by all the negativity, and that's fine because it's, it's definitely there. Cyberbullying and all that stuff is a real thing. Um, but I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. You know what I mean? If I if I had a son who was on the Xbox or PS2 or a PS2 or PS4 or 5, whatever it's going to be, um, if, if they were on that all day, then I would probably take exception to that. But I wouldn't have an issue with them playing it for a bit every day because it's, I think that's part of growing up and developing your likes and your dislikes and your interests and things like that, you know? Um... You can learn a lot from, from completing games and playing games and that sort of thing, but when it comes to an obsession and it's a necessity and you're playing it every day and it just over, overtakes your life, you can't concentrate anything else, that is when I would probably take issue with it. But I'd, I'd never take a console outside and throw it out the feckin' window, you know what I mean? Anyway, there you go. Those are my thoughts on video game consoles and the youth of today playing them. Uh, if you want some more, you know, uh, beautiful thoughts like this that really will get you thinking, you can follow me on Twitter, my Twitter, at CM42TV and on Instagram, at CM42TV as well. And yesterday, I created my TikTok account. Still getting to know how to use it. So if you've got TikTok, follow me on there. It's also CM42TV. So please subscribe here on YouTube for more. And I'll be back very, very shortly with some more videos here on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you all in the next video.